good. So uh, yeah, SGR back. Um, yeah, just sort of uh, carry on from really kind of like my intro video uh, or welcome video, hello video, you name it, whatever. Um, and just to sort of like let you know what's really kind of going on. Um, and the reason why I decided to go on the lovely two wheels. Um, Cause you know, it's, it's sort of about you know, why do people would take up motorbiking? You know, why is it? Is it just cause it's cheaper or is it just cause it's fun and they want to go fast? You know, what what is it? They want to look cool, they want to pick up birds, um, which I do by the way. Um, yeah, and um, but mine was a little bit different. Um, and I don't know why I've never done it before. Um, well, until now, um, I've been riding motocross bikes when I was when I was young. My dad uh, bought me my first motorbike um, when I was ten, uh, or well, actually nine, just before uh, Christmas. And he said um, I can have the choice of, um, you know, a, a present where. Um, well, loads of little presents, or I could have one big present, and I could put some money towards that I'd been saving up for. Um, so I thought, well, that sounds quite cool. Um, so what was that? And uh, so I went with that, and um, and uh, yeah, he took us out one evening. Um, he says, I, I need twenty-five quid of your money, uh, which was, you know, nineteen ninety-three. Um, yeah, I know. Um, and. Uh, yeah, we went and picked it up, and uh, it was a uh, nothing special, mind. But you know, to me, as a ten, nine-year-old kid, it was fucking amazing. It was a Yamaha PW50, and um, just a little pit bike, and it was awesome. Uh, it took us up to uh, Botany Bay in a place called Stevenage, which was uh, just always, yeah, just was just a pile of uh, crap um, and just wasteland area. So um, yeah, and. It just kind of started from then. Then uh, on my tenth birthday, he woke me up and took me downstairs, and there was a, a, Yam a Kawasaki KX80. Um, and he uh, said, "Yeah, let's go and do some motocross." Um, I did it for six years uh, for a schoolboy racing club called Stevenage Schoolboy Racing. Uh, Stevenage Schoolboy Scrambling Club, that was the one, and um, oh, loved it. It was just awesome. Uh, you know, I was the coolest kid at school purely for the fact that I had a motorbike and, you know, jumping 30, 40 foot up in the air um, at stupid breakneck speeds. Awesome. Plus, you get to play around and get muddy. Um, perfect, perfect. Um, yeah, so uh, um, did that until I was about 16, and then unfortunately, my dad had a, an accident, which I'll uh, cover later. Um, and then I just went down the old boring four wheel route. Um, and I don't know why I never um, went on to a motorbike. Um, just common sense would prevail that I would go from motocross onto two wheels, you know, do a little moped or a little 125 or something when I was 17 and um, and then move up the ranks that way, but I never did. Um, probably had something to do with, uh, with girls, actually, because, you know, whilst it's cool taking a girl on the back of a motorbike, um, you know, not all of them like it. So, um, you know, plus you haven't got a back seat really to, um, you know, have a bit of fun with. Uh, fun on, should I, with, with, that's a bit odd. Um, <laughs> as you can tell, I'm new to vlogging. So if I say random shit, um, yeah, <laughs> who cares? Um, so uh, yeah, um, but then, you know, flying ahead 15, 20 years, um, a lot of boring careers, you know, working in call centres, working my way up, and um, you know, doing well. Um, you know, I made operations manager, um, and uh, you know, I thought it was where I was going to go, but um, just got sick of all the politics and you know, oh, you can't say that, you might offend this person and all this lot. And fair enough, you know, yeah, if you offend someone, it's wrong. Um, but you know, if someone does a shit job. You should be able to tell them that we're shit, work harder. But you can't in fear of them going off on the sick for stress or, and I'm not getting into like, you know, mental illness and all that lot. Um, but uh, yeah, anyhow, the um, the office world just, it just got to me. So I wanted a new career, 
uh, in something that wasn't the, the standard office call centre uh, work. But you know, where did I go? I, I had you know bills to pay. I had um, you know my car and all this lot, and I needed something that um, not only um, funded my way through college, but something that was a bit different and that I, I would enjoy, and that was you know doing it for me rather than just following you know the norm um you know um and uh, a good friend of mine um charlie who you'll probably uh, see down the line uh, if he lets his face go on uh, youtube that is we are we are um and uh yeah he he mentioned well why don't you look at do what i'm gonna go do which was joining the merchant navy um you know sailing big ships all over the world and you know having yeah fair enough being away for three months at a time but then you get three months off you know or tw eight weeks on eight weeks off depending on you know what ship and what route you get on um and i thought you know that sounds pretty bloody amazing tax-free pay if i'm doing deep sea work as well and uh you know i've paid me taxes um but uh you know we could all we'd all want more money right um plus you could buy more 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 nicer bikes then if you've got more money um yeah so the application went in um that was in october um last year um and i applied for you know a couple of companies and uh, i wasn't expecting anything you know 32 year old guy um you know already got a degree um in computer studies um i, I just wasn't expecting it to to be an opportunity for me um and i had a a, a, a knockback from one company straight away um, when uh, you know one of my friends um, got through to the next stage with you know lesser qualifications than me so I'm like well you know that's clearly got to do with with my age but um, you know it is what it is onwards and upwards and um, yeah lo and behold uh, I got offered two places um, two different companies both you know big um, with big names um, that um, would have been great and uh, ultimately I got my first choice uh, I got offered uh, to join the Merchant Navy and um, yeah so big fucking change so ever since kind of um, hearing the word that I you know I got uh, offered um, my life's been changing for the better um, trying to find out you know what am I going to do in my life and um, my car went so I sold me Audi A6 that I'd, I'd bought and you know um, I miss that car <laughs> it's so nice um, it's just like driving an armchair it was awesome um, but it was costing me a lot of money a month um, and I knew for a fact that if I'm going back to college and I'm on you know um, cadet wage uh, which is about £800 a month um, which is good for a cadet um, that I'm not going to be able to, to run um, my car but then I thought, well, I need to be able to get around still, and I still want to have some form of a life, and not being like limited to using public transport. So um, I decided to sell my car. Um, Milf, fair play, mate. Um, decided to sell my car, and um, yeah, get myself a motorbike. So uh, I uh, saved up a bit of money, uh, and that, you know, and um, I put myself through my motorbike lesson, my direct access See, and uh, I did it within about two months because um, obviously I, you know, I was working and other things I'd, I'd like to have done it a bit quicker but um, yeah, you know uh, so yeah uh, that's the reason why I went on to two wheels because uh, you know I'm going back to college I want something nice and, and, and cheap to, to run and maintain um, you know full tank of fuel on this is like 16, 17 quid um, and I can get 125, 130 mile out of it, um, having fun. <laughs> and, uh, you know, road tax is 50 odd quid. Uh, insurance, you know, 32 year old guy, um, no years, no claims. Um, just passed me test on a 600cc sports tourer, and it was 300 quid, you know. Um, whereas my Audi, five years, no claims after a stupid accident that I had. I'll, I'll tell you about that later um, you know it was 880 odd quid oh, and Jesus Christ you know that only had 110 brake horsepower which is the same as this and this goes a lot quicker and gets there a hell of a lot quicker um, plus I look cool well I think I look cool anyway 
Um, <laughs> I know I'm sad, but yeah, that's me. You either like me or you don't. Um, so yeah, um, I just thought, well, what's the point in you know wasting time? Fuck it, I just go and do it. So I did, um, and I've loved it every every minute. Um, if anyone's considering it, you know, do it. Um, it's fantastic. Yeah, obviously there's dangers and, you know, but yes, it's dangerous walking, crossing the fucking street. Um, you know, yeah, in the month that I've had the bike, I've had two people pull out on me. Um, you know, it's, it, it, it happens. People in cars don't pay attention um, as much as they should. Uh, let me clarify that as much as they should um, you know since I've been learning to ride um, you know it opens your eyes to things so if you are considering doing it just go out and do it the bike only goes as quick as you twist your wrist um, you know and if you're paying attention and you're alert and you're aware um, you know you can limit the risk um, <laughs> the amount of fun you have my god um, he, he, you know, for me, even this is fun. Just nice day, you know, even just poodling along at like 30. You don't have to be like, you know, full twist of the wrist. Like, it is just nice just to be out. Especially, oh, nice. Uh, Aston Martin. It's, even if it is just a case of, um, you know, you're just popping out to the shops or something. You know, I use this to go to the shops on. I'm nipping at the bank now. Um, you know, it's just cool. Um, it's just so much fun. Do it. Get out there.